I will share with you on how to form a well-balanced team that is needed for 8D problem solving in this video. 8D problem solving always begin with a team and end with a team. The team will need a great facilitator, normally a quality engineer, which enable the team to perform well in contributing towards getting the problem solved. By the end of this video, you will be able to select the team members and learn what are the different roles in the 8D team to contribute towards the success of getting the problem solved. All the problem solving needs a team to get it resolved. Therefore, it will always begin with the formation of a team. A team is critical to a problem solving as no individual will have all the necessary knowledge or objectivity that leads to the problem solved, especially a complex problem and overcoming initial biasness is difficult for problem solving if it's only from the individual's perspective where the individual could have formed some kind of ideas on the problem and to overcome this biasness we would definitely requires a team for an impartial view of the problem Lastly, it is always difficult to get buy off when the problem is done from an individual perspective. We will need to select and establish a team with product and process knowledge which can contribute to the problem solving. A team is a small group of people with complementary skills who are committed to a common purpose, goal and approach and hold themselves mutually accountable. If you find this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more valuable insights and updates in manufacturing supplier quality hacks to achieve consistently good quality products by subscribing you will be the first to know when i post new content to achieve the final outcome in our case is to get the problem solved members with the process of product knowledge and they will need to allocate time and also authority and skills in the required technical disciplines to solve problems and implement corrective actions. The group initiates the team building process and the rule of thumb for 8D problem solving could be a team of four to about 10 members, depends on how complex the problem is. Here we shall go through the importance of an 8D team members, their role with its requirements and contributions. An 8D team will require a team champions with the following requirements or criteria. The person should be of authority in an organization, maybe a department manager, and is not actively participate in all the 8D meetings. However, the person sh should be responsible for the problem solving culture. The person should contribute by setting expectations, remove any roadblocks and provide the necessary resources and guarantees a positive recognition for the team upon 
the problem is successfully solved and responsible for the company's whole AD program. So it can be a fixed individual for every AD. Next is the AD team leader. This person is supposed to lead the AD team for problem solving and keep the level of, of analysis constant means to ensure that constant meetings and get the problem solved and also expert in AD process and quality tools. The team leader should contribute by set the direction of the 8D problem solving, facilitate the 8D session, work with the team champion for any requirements of resources and responsible for the success of solving problem. The team leader is specific to each problem. A different problem could have different team leader. Unlock all of my courses on Udemy for only $12.99. If you are using a mobile device, simply tap on More to review the special rate course link. Click on the link to view over 15 courses in multiple quality areas offer. For desktop user, you can scroll down and click on the link to download the course list. You can then click in the list to get the special offer rate. Unlock your potential as an expert in leading 8D teams to solve quality issues by enrolling in this Expert in 8D Problem Solving course. This comprehensive course will equip you with the expertise in all 8D phases, enabling you to effectively lead cross-functional teams and contribute to each phase with confidence. With real-life examples, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the dynamics behind each phase and be able to apply them to solve complex problems. Impress interviewers with your knowledge by using our case studies to answer questions. How do you use 8D to solve a quality issue? Enroll now and become a problem-solving pro to advance in your career. Next is the team members in the 8D problem solving for a specific problem. This is designated either by the champion or the team leader and it consists of cross-functional discipline people such as manufacturing ops or engineering and the membership can change as the problem solving process progresses because initially it could be that the problem was suspected coming from the suppliers however upon investigation it is the ink is the process or the manufacturing process itself therefore the membership can change accordingly the team member must contribute by providing expertise and technical knowledge to understand the problem better and the potential solution, different perspective of the problem, propose implementation actions, propose and implement actions, and also responsible for action closure. Sometimes the, there is always a team member that is accountable for each of the discipline could be D1, there's an owner, D2, there's another owner, D3, till D7. One of the main functions in quality engineering is to drive different team members to contribute towards getting the problem solved. Therefore, a good knowledge on how to set up 
a team and where to get support is important to facilitate the team moving towards getting the results that is required. I hope you have a better understanding on the team formation in the 8D problem solving approach. Do like and leave me a comment on the challenges you have working with the 8D team members. Do subscribe to this channel to enhance your knowledge in quality engineering. Thank you for watching.